What is up guys? Welcome back to standing in an empty parking lot behind a warehouse channel. Today on the channel we are in an empty parking lot, but this is not just a normal warehouse. This is actually a indoor skate park just north of Charlotte, North Carolina, in a town called Denver. It's a little hard to come to this park though. If you Google search this park, it does say it's temporary closed. It's called the Hangar Skate Park. This guy Tyler that I met at the last park who did the long curve rail, he told me he just checked their Instagram. They actually have the whole month posted of when they're open this month. I have never been here before. I did try to come here about four years ago and they were closed. So I just thought this place was closed this whole time. But you just go on their Instagram and you find out when they're open. It is beginning to rain, so I did pick a good day to come so let's go inside i almost was gonna go to a different outdoor park today but luckily we decided to come here we're safe in the shelter this building is massive there hasn't been much coverage of the skate park i did see it in a mongoose edit of like some north carolina trip they did but i thought it was like kind of like private sessiony but i'm here at a public session check out the park definitely not going to be able to see all of it but check out this wall right sub box setup. We got a vert wall right into a box jump with a spine, little Spox right there, hubba's rail. Look at this thing. We got a down ledge half angle iron. So it's like, if you don't want to slide that fast, it's perfect. There's a whole box with them section over in this corner of the park. But since I have the whole skate park to myself empty, the rhythm line is like one at a time. So I'm not really worried about riding that, but who knows this place could get crowded later. So we're going to ride the normal skate park because I can just go one at a time in the rhythm. I didn't even show you guys. There's like a curved wall right here, but it's like beginner friendly with the transition at the bottom. Nice. The helmet is on, but I have no idea where to begin. I'm just going to start in this first centerpiece. Pretty warmed up for mine, this little tech area. We're gonna expand outward and we're gonna start off with this curved wall ride right here. It does have the transition at the bottom, but you do have to leap probably about two and a half feet into it. We're just gonna dive in and hopefully not right out of the top of it. Oh my God. It worked out, I came out with rocket propelling speeds and I nearly hit this hubble right here. Went around it and aimed right into this. Definitely completed the curve wall ride level. I don't know what to do with all that speed. And it's a little slippery on the floor here. That's why I like, you kind of saw the end of it, I jerked my foot down to change my direction because I could just wash out turning my wheel quickly. Sponsor for me here. This video was sponsored by Established Titles. Established Titles is a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping global reforestation efforts. It is a project based on historic Scottish customs to where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English. Title packs give you at least one square foot of dedicated land with a unique plot number on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland, and an official certificate with a crest. That's right. I. I'm officially Lord Spencer Forsman, as seen here on my certificate. They also plant a tree for every single order they get and work with global charities like One Tree Planting and Trees for the Future to help support global reforestation efforts. Once you have an established title like myself, you can actually change your name on official documents. Like a credit card or a plane ticket. It's to Lord or Lady, which I think is, is great and I might take advantage of that. The first 200 of you that use the link down in the description will be effectively within walking distance of my own plot of land and together we can build the Husky Nation Kingdom. It's also a great last minute gift for someone who might be hard to get a gift for. Who wouldn't want to be a lord or a lady? Established Tiles is actually running a massive Black Friday sale right now. Plus, if you use code Husky Nation, you get an additional 10% off. Go to EstablishedTitles.com slash Husky Nation to get your gifts now and help support the channel. Thanks again to Established Titles for sponsoring this video and officially making me Lord Spencer. 
Spencer Forsman. Guys, go check him out. Links down in the description. Now we're gonna go back to the video. This is just gonna keep getting bigger. I have a ginormous wall ride behind me, or in front of me now. I'm just riding in circles. We got a big old mellow, probably about eight, maybe seven and a half feet transition to wall ride here with the smaller gap. So we're gonna take that way. have migrated over one ramp to this vert wall. Looks like it's got about like a six foot quarter pipe transition, so it's a little tighter than most vert wall. But we're gonna do a hand plant, maybe, maybe a couple hand yeah, plants. I kind of want to switch hand plant this vert wall but have not done one in quite some time. Last one I did, I may have passed away on, which I can insert the clip if you guys want. Here it is. I'm gonna try to be brave and redeem myself. I'm just drop in with confidence. Amazing. Through my research that you guys just saw, I figured out the technique for potential success. I'm not going to try to hand plant and like come straight in where I could explode on the flat bottom. I'm going to try to kind of do what I did hand plant, just let the wheels touch close same time then then I'll do a little turn hopefully here we go this trick is actually very scary for me from what happened last time actually now that I think about it that strategy I just had is exactly why the last crash happened at Woodward on the vert ramp I tried I put both my tires down I just gripped and I got sent to the bottom and that is also a reason why my elbow still hurts to this day because that was like a hyper extension of a previous dislocated elbow that I'm kind of dealing with right now. Just feels like super weak, but when I ride it's fine. But like pushing doors open and stuff, like it just feels like I got space jam or something. I don't know. Absolutely clean and controlled. It wasn't beautiful. But it was an opposite hand plant. Now we're gonna move on. We have a box and a spine here. And I recently have been trying to get better at 180 switch down whips. So I would really like to do like a 180 switch down whip fly out as, and then cab in with control. It's a little tougher on a cassette though because I have to land on the pedals. But that's not gonna stop us. Yeah, this kid just subscribed. Let's go. Be like this kid. Subscribe to the channel. Gave you guys a little dead sailor montage just to show you the struggle I just had to uh, experience first person. Would not recommend that, but that we did get the switch whip of the video out of the way. That probably was the hardest switch whip we have done to date on this recent switch whipping journey. I'm sailing away. They got a little rhythm line over here with a odd berm thing that feels kind of weird. And then a couple more little jumps. Also this little bank to somewhat slanted. Well, I don't know why that's slanted. Just like in a wall, but you know, whatever. Skate niche. I'm gonna go back over to the little tech area now because there is a small little swarm of scoot nation around here and I'm just trying to give them their space. This kind of feels like an indoor backyard ramp because all the ramps are a little, they got a little weird feeling to them, but it's not bad. I usually don't do just like a singular flare clip unless it's like somewhat difficult because I am a seasoned flare, but there is a cool looking, 
I don't know, like four and a half foot ramp that looks like it'd be fun to flare and I think it might look cool. I don't know. Last trick before I head out. I do want to do a little hand plant over the spine right here. Alright guys, let's kind of wrap up this video. Overall, first impression, pretty good park, very beginner friendly, especially this uh, rhythm area. You can go as slow as you want. You can't go as fast as you want because the berm is a little odd, but you can. it, it works, it's functional. If you guys do want to check out this park, remember like I said in the beginning of this video, you got to go on their Instagram because it says they're temporary closed when you search for them on Google or iMaps. Appreciate it if you guys would leave a like if you enjoyed this video, helps the channel out, and if you would like to and you enjoy the content you saw, consider subscribing if you guys already have subscribed. I appreciate all you guys. We'll see you guys tomorrow at another North Carolina skate park that I'm not sure which one it's gonna be, but we'll see you there tomorrow. Daily Action Adventure video, goodbye.